It's about to get crazy here. Crazy, crazy, crazy fast. We're gonna run out of bin space. Heck yeah. We farming America. It's harvest time again, and the challenge of harvesting wheat and barley here in some of the West's most rugged country is on. Join me as I show you the ins and outs of our family's harvest here in central Montana. Good morning, Riley Slifka here, and we are obviously right here in the wondrous harvest fields of central Montana. Yeah, of course we're not. We're actually here at the Agri Studios official headquarters. We got a cart loaded with a bunch of gear. Got a box that we're stuffing with some more gear and a computer tower that's going too. And I think, oh, this monitor's gone. So um, this year, harvest video is gonna be a little different because we're doing it on site. We're making episodes. This is Along the Edge TV. And it is going to be probably the biggest challenge that I, have ever done. That's right, we're taking computers, we're taking a few camera things, but we'll mostly just be using this little DJI Osmo action rig that I built right here for the A-cam for the vlog. But we're gonna be producing on site. It's gonna be challenging because I'm also gonna be working 14 hour days in a grain truck. Now, the grain truck is what makes this job possible because the grain truck isn't necessarily always moving. Sometimes we gotta sit and wait for a while for a load of grain, so Depending on how much time we do have sitting and waiting for a load of grain, that could get pretty busy here later in the harvest season. I'll have time to edit on a laptop. That way we can get content out as fast as possible for you guys to see. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be a challenge and all else fails. It's gonna lag behind a little bit and I might be a little late getting episodes out, but we're gonna do our best to get this done. We gotta get going. The harvest fields are about three hours north of here, so we got a bit of a drive ahead of us, which means we got to get this gear loaded up into the back of my pickup, and we got to get on the road. Let's do it. everybody guess what we're here we are in Winifred Montana right in the center of the state and it's harvest time let's go oh wait a minute wait a minute we're missing a header that's that's gonna be an issue well guess what guys I'm sitting in a demo unit combine right now we don't actually own this one that's why we're waiting for the header still the dealership Torgersons still has to bring that out but this is a pretty awesome combine that I'm sitting in right now so stay tuned I'll show you what exactly it is here a little later but you could probably guess pretty well for those of you who are already familiar with KSIH's modern fleet but we can't wait to try it out along the edge in the Missouri Breaks country so I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the actual harvest field since I'm just sitting in the farmyard right now where this combine was dropped off earlier today but um I'm gonna grab a radio so that we can communicate with the crew and then we're gonna head out there and see what Farmer Matt's up to right now. Okay. Uh, okay, what's the harvest report? Uh, we're gonna run out of bin space. Yeah. It's the man himself. Sam, how's it going? How are you, Riley? Doing good. I was gonna go home Matthew, but I think Noah's staying down there. So, I'll get a little green cart ride in here. Okay, get a little green cart. How you doing, man? Man, it's been been a little busy. A bit. Yeah, yeah. We're running out of field here. Yes. All right, first dump that we're getting on camera for this year. Grandfather's been working together a long time, Riley. Yeah, 14 years. Yep. So if you come back next year, it would be your 15th year. Yep. Enjoy this, though, Riley. It, uh, you know, wouldn't miss my Montana time. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I don't think any of us would have figured you would have come out. You've never missed a year. Nope. 
and yeah, it was just every year for 14 years. That's a lot. Yes, it is. Definitely glad to have you though. Oh yeah. Sit in this old big tractor all day and put her through her paces. And keep the fleet away from the combine and so you don't have to stop and keep the trucks moving as best we can. And yeah, it's a good job. I think it's the best in the harvest group itself. This is the time when we're just working with one combine. I usually get caught up on all my issues of Montana Outdoors magazine that I don't get to read you know, when I'm home doing other stuff, but I usually bring them out here and put them in my sack. When did you originally come out to Montana? Oh, like my over... first trip was in 1999. I came out to hunt and out to Knox Ranch. And uh, so made friends with some folks and came back in 202. And, Came back in 204 and 206, and, and then I got to the point I, I wasn't working, so I said, I told your grandfather, I said, I think, Lester, I, I think I could run that grain cart for you. Because you know your grandma was running it. I said, I believe I could do that job. And sure enough, they hooked me up and been coming every year since. Hey, Riley. How's Noah? Kicking. Apparently, we're already running again. Yeah, it's. Doing pretty good, I'd say. Heck yeah! Wheat farming America! Guys, guys, look what it is. Yeah, it's corn! Oh, to be walking in my cornfield. The corn grazing project is taking off it worked it grew it is a awesome looking corn crop for dry land central montana and especially for something that was not planted row crop style that's right if you remember from our previous video that we did a couple months back when planting this stuff in the month of june we used an air drill we did not use a corn planter Using an air drill is just a controlled spill. Therefore, we're not planting accurate rows. We're not planting accurate spacings. We are dumping seed on the ground. This is looking absolutely amazing, except for one thing. Unfortunately, the grasshoppers are grazing this corn down already before the cows will be getting to it this fall. Now, time will tell what the damage will be. These grasshoppers are just eating away at everything out here right now. It's horrible grasshopper problem this year. Many parts of the state are experiencing this issue, unfortunately. And it's not just this corn right here. People's spring crops are going quite quickly, ours included. It's just a nasty problem. So I'll keep you updated a little bit. We'll check in another, uh, maybe even a couple weeks or so. Beans, I'll be around quite a bit more for harvest and we'll see what these grasshoppers do to this stuff but it is a thing it's happening but other than that other than some holes in the leaves right now and a lot of grasshoppers in this field this corn is taken off look what I found it's supper Heck yeah I get very hungry very easily so there's chairs so every night here, we do a sit-down style supper. It's something that a lot of crews these days actually don't do. We've managed to hold on to the tradition, which is pretty cool. So you'll see, you know, it's good family time is what it is. It's a time for everyone to take a break, sit down, eat something that came from an excellent cook. We have and excellent cooks Riley. here. And laugh at Riley holding a weird camera and talking to himself. Yes, that too. But, um... Good times, good times. So we'll be doing this every night. It's pretty fun. Really nice looking salad there. Some jello stuff. Orange. Mandarin orange is in there, it looks like. And what do we got here, Mikey? Uh, excuse me. Deliciousness. Deliciousness. Some nice shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Some taters mixed in. Uh -huh. And on the side, uh, yeah, some homemade bread there. That's good. We'll be saving that for later. So let's do a quick little behind the scenes with the drone stuff here. Since a few of you have been asking for that in the past, this right here 
is a DJI Inspire 2. We need to calibrate the compass on this DJI Inspire 2 real quick. So we'll go ahead and walk over to the controller and do that real quick. Then I'll explain a few other things before we take off. All we do here is calibrate compass. We gotta do a ridiculous little dancey thing here. Uh, let me set you guys here for a minute. DJI Inspire 2 aircraft. Used for a lot of professional gigs and also used in a lot of Agri Studios productions as well. This will not actually be the main drone for Harvest Along the Edge, whatever I'm calling it, TV. We're actually going to use a smaller DJI Mavic just for the convenience, but tonight this was the only one that was charged up and ready to go. So it's got a landing gear that will lift up at it as it takes off. This gimbal right here fits a micro four thirds mount lens, which means I can use professional photography lenses of different types on this drone, something you don't get with a lot of the others. Dual batteries, if one fails, you got another one, so hopefully you don't fall out of the sky. All sorts of things with this little drone. So we actually gotta put a memory card in it first and then we'll take off and go for a little harvest tour. Drones are pretty awesome tech, but what you wanna do is pay attention to your rule of thirds when you're flying. Don't just fly high and call it good there. Use your rule of thirds to try and frame up a shot. I'm not doing the best example here of that necessarily, but we're trying. So I'm gonna wait for that combine and grain cart to kind of go into one of the corners, the intersecting lines that you might see on my screen right now. That's ideally where you wanna hold a subject. I'm also gonna add some leading room to this shot as well so that we can give the a bit of headroom on the direction in which the vehicles are moving. You want nice smooth movements, nothing jerky at all. I always cut around any drone jerks, any um, quick yaws that the aircraft might make. That makes for a much more smooth and cinematic experience. All right, I gotta keep flying and pay a little more attention to this. So that's all for now. We'll definitely do some more drone stuff in the future. Presenting the Samuelson Report, your top source for news and analysis. We've cut a lot of pretty red winter wheat over here in the fields that were formerly alfalfa ground. And then we've also been cutting some other winter wheat over on what was canola ground last year. Been shipping most of it to the elevator today. So that's kind of been the recap for today. I don't know the acreage, but we're getting up there. We're for one, you know, one machine show today. We've done pretty well. So. Good day to be in the field. Had a breeze all day. This has been the Samuelson Report. Tune in next time on Along the Edge TV. Wow, guys. It's still pretty windy outside. Hopefully that dies down here in a few days. I'm in the farm shop right now, actually catching up on a little bit of editing for you guys here on my mobile editing workstation. This thing's been cranking things out much better so than I thought it was. Didn't know that a quad-core Mac could uh, have that much of a punch to it, but heck, it's getting the job done quickly. We're gonna see if we can stay on top of the editing for this and get these out for you guys. But this is the end of episode one of Harvest Along the Edge TV. I'll be back with another one as soon as I can get it out. I'm gonna guess anywhere from a couple days to about a week. We'll see what happens. But thank you guys very much for watching and supporting this. I think it's very important that we tell some of these stories of where people's food comes from. It's pretty cool stuff for sure. And guys, sit back because uh, it's about to get crazy here. Crazy, crazy, crazy fast. We have a red combine just right out there that's still waiting for its header. Once that thing gets going, we're gonna be doubling our output. We're probably gonna be even more than doubling our output with that brand new tech inside that combine, which we'll explain in a little later. We're also getting a custom harvester crew machine from Canada, and they're gonna be bringing some crew down as well, so. Things are about to get kind of fun and crazy at the same time here, guys. So definitely don't miss it. Subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Until then, see you later. Hope you have a great rest of your day.